there's probably about 20 different reasons why we all jumped at the chance to do this. Being self-employed and having signed uh, up to do a record with a label, it kind of means you take all the work you can get, that's the obvious one. So, you know, even if Christmas fell in the middle of this tour, I'd probably still say yes, because you, you never know when work's going to dry up. And I think the main one for me was that I was going to take this band out and we're going to get to try new songs, because we've done those songs, or a lot of the set, for like a year now. And everyone's getting, we just kind of don't concentrate on it anymore. And not that I think the band's getting shoddy, but to keep it interesting. And then there's two English guys in the band, so they've never been round to Scotland. And I've never been to the Hebrides, or um, I've never played on Mull. Hi, we're King Grizzard, and we'd like to apologise for this podcast. The Baron Rose with the white faced ginger hair. For the lessons of weapons, I can teach you now. King Crizo! I know you can't tell from those awful posters, but uh, I, I promise that if there's any dads in the audience, I won't kill any of your offspring. Uh, the poster tends to suggest that. I know, I know you're looking for a thrill, but it's not going to happen. It's a, uh, it's, it's small Christian and his hobbit friends. Yeah. Bob Egan. Bob or Bob. Or. Join us about to get the ferry to Fort William. There's the ferry there. About to leave it to port. Setting sail. The Highlands and Islands of Scotland. Fort William has such recreational facilities as a swimming pool, badminton racket pools. <laughs> well, would you like one of my hits? Yeah. Which one? Whichever one you want. Um, no clue. I'm best in my life. <laughs> I bought this love, but it's not good enough. This is a baby. Uh, baby, <laughs> cross to Fort William. That's the place of the end of love. <laughs> Scotland, it's time for Scotland. It's ages since I've had a full time band. And I don't kind of believe anymore in this all for one and one for all type thing. And this band works better when I, it's my thing, it goes the way I want it to. But for that privilege, I have to pay them. So they're kind of, they are jobbing musicians. But although I decide what songs we're doing and decide whether a band does a song or not, I let them do what they want with that song and so although they're jobbing players they do have a big input and I just get on with it and if songs don't work I'm not that precious about it and that's it they're all, they're all just really good
songs are all dead simple anyway, they just chunder along. They, all, they always start with me on my own, the band comes in and then goes mad at the end. That's it, that's the formula, KC formula right there. in a week, um, but I think that, that it, it keeps it interesting and it, it, it's always a bit different. So, King Grayson, Deadhill, Deadhill, yeah. um, how are you feeling? Great. Yeah. Jeremy, how are you feeling about day two? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordan's on the video shoot. Photograph shoot. drum machines in the past and samples and things but the reason I've never done it live is because it's such a hassle to bring all that stuff and electronics notoriously kind of don't work when you bring them out even simple drum machines kind of like but the reason we brought them in on this tour was because as it, like I said I wanted to play more accordion I didn't want it to be really stark been champing at the bit for a year to get more gadgets in the live set and uh, Christian's gagging to get mooks and, and all the, you know so it's really the band pushing that as well and then and we're fed up playing the same songs in the same way <laughs> 